Well, you know, time and again, we hear of jail overcrowding around East Tennessee and beyond. And tonight we're hearing how one county is hoping to tackle those numbers. Blunt County leaders discussing the possibility of modular buildings to add more room to their jail. We had WATE six on your side reporter Laura Holm look into this possibility. She joins us now live in the studio. So Laura, tell us how this would work if these plans move forward. Well, right now there are a lot of uncertainties because they're just in the researching phase. Now, county leaders tell me that uh, they have a lot of things to do before they move forward with this plan. Before any kind of a decision is even made, they'll visit another county where modular buildings are already being used at that jail. They also want to get a look at the manufacturing process. The Blount County Sheriff's Office says there are currently 617 inmates at their detention center, but they're certified for 350 beds. Researching, reviewing them. Blount County Mayor Ed Mitchell says modular buildings are a fast, efficient way to help with overcrowding. I believe that the buildings are, and I have not actually been in one. Uh, these are steel buildings. They're built out of steel, uh, floors, walls, ceiling. County leaders haven't decided how many modular buildings they'd purchase. It may be four, it may be eight, it could be ten. We're not sure yet. Charles Sterling is the project manager for the Community Justice Initiative. He says it's too soon to know how many inmates would be housed in a modular unit. Some units as a dorm style, which would be minimum security, but then there will be some with what they call a wet cell, which has two bunks and the and the toilet and sink facility in the cell, and those could be medium and maximum security. I'm told these modular units must meet Tennessee Corrections Institute standards. There will be direct supervision, which means a correctional officer in direct contact, and there will also be video uh, supervision combination to make it work the best. More research will happen before county leaders bring this to county commission to discuss and ultimately vote on. I think it's a win-win. Uh, it's considerably less cost. Uh, you And if the time ever came that you did not need them anymore, they can actually be moved and you can relocate them and use them on, on another site. While some in the community have concerns, many say this is a smart option. Well, the issue would be containment, and if the containment was factor was able to be there in safety first for the public, I think we've got to put them somewhere, and if jail's overcrowding, then we have to do what we have to do to adapt to the situation. I think it would be great. I, I witnessed um, in Titusville, Florida, they have uh, these things, this thing called the annex, where it's like tents, basically. They're, they're well structured. They actually allow people to have more room to move. Now, there is no price tag yet. However, county leaders estimate each modular building to cost roughly $1.4 billion. Of course, I'll continue following this and share the latest with you on air and online. Ladies. All right. Thank you so much. And, you know, I want to let you know we checked with the Knox County Sheriff's Office for a breakdown of the numbers here. As of today, there are 1,064 inmates at the detention facility. The max population is 1,036. KCSO adding there are 24,000 arrests every year in Knox County.